Hey yo, what is going on guys? Pixelated here and welcome back to a brand new video. And on today's video, we are going to be talking about on how you guys can get the brand new frame. His name is Gauz and he just came out with the brand new update. And so today I thought I would make a video talking about on how you guys can get his parts. Some people may not know on how to farm his parts. So that's why this video is for you guys to farm the parts quickly and efficiently. So to get the new frames parts, you're going to have to do the disruption missions. Now there are about six new disruption missions. I'm just showing the Jupiter one because this was released early this year. Now let me explain what the disruption missions are. They are very simple. So first of all, you drop into the map and you have to go to a door and you have to hack the door in order to unlock rest of the map. After you hack the door, you're going to see that enemies are going to be coming out from left, right and center. And you're going to see there's going to be also four terminals that spawn. These terminals have each different color. Some are blue, some are red, some are white, and I don't know what the other color is. Now the deal here is simple. You're gonna have to activate the terminals and defend them. To activate the terminals, you're gonna have to kill enemies. And one of these enemies, uh, I, don't, I forgot what they were called. They, their name begins with an A. So after you kill one of these enemies, they're gonna drop a key and each of the keys are going to be different. So if an enemy drops a blue key, you're gonna have to put that, you guessed it right, in the blue terminal. So after you activate the terminal, it's pretty much simple. By the way, after you activate the terminal, the terminal is going to give you a buff or a debuff that is completely based on your luck. So after you activate the terminal, you're gonna have to defend it with that buff or debuff, like I said. So yeah, it is basically survival mixed with mobile defense. So that's how the disruption game mode works. Now, let me just explain how the Gauss parts are gonna drop in this game mode. So there are going to be about four rounds, all right? Four plus rounds is totally up to you, but there are going to be four conduits. So as you can see, there is tire A, tire B, and tire C. And I'm pretty sure these are the tires that are going to have the gauze parts inside them. So the, this, is, this is how the gauze parts are going to drop. Maybe they're gonna drop in tire A, maybe they're gonna drop in tire B, or hell, maybe they're gonna be dropping in tire C. It's completely random. No one knows yet on which tire the gauze parts will drop. It is completely random. It's completely RNG and everything like that. But one thing, I can tell you guys is that you're gonna be have to go you're gonna have to go into this mission with a really really good team okay no joke these enemies in this game mode are no joke and definitely go in with a good team i'm going to be getting into the good team thing in just a moment let me just show you the proof that gauze does drop in this game mode as you can see here it says that survive the new disruption mode exp expansion to build this supersonic warframe and by supersonic warframe of course they mean it's gauze so you're gonna have to play the new disruption missions i'm pretty sure gauze also drops in the old disruption mission which is only one which is in jupiter the new missions are going to be found in the Corpus Outpost, the Grenier Galleon, the Grenier Settlement, the Grenier Kuva Fortress, and the Orokin Moon. So these are going to be the new things in the disruption mode. There's going to be new enemies, and there's going to be new Alad V, Alad V enemies. Wow, that is so weird. So check out for those. Just go into any Grenier planet or Corpus planet, and you will definitely find a uh, new disruption mission. Just do those missions in order to get the gauss parts. Now, let me just tell you that you're gonna have to go in with a really, really solid team in order to farm the gauss parts quickly. You can just have two CC frames, one buff frame, and one other killing frame. I suggest a Nova, then a Trinity, 
then you can take a Octavia or you can take some other frame as well for defensive purposes as well. So that's how you're going to be able to defend all the four conduits at once. And that's how I suggest you guys to do the missions. If you defend four conduits at once, you're going to be going through the rounds much more quickly. So definitely a Nova, a Trinity, uh, a buff frame that's, that can be Octavia or Rhino and any other frame that you want, okay? A killing frame basically at the very end. And also make sure all of the frames have good weapons equipped to them. So yeah, that's it for the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button because hitting that subscribe button helps me out a ton. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Hope you all have a great day.